Ding Gong Singu, Chang Chang Ning, Ding Sia and Yan Ni are starting. So the middles will be Yan Ni and Yuan Singu. Two players who have really grown throughout this competition for sure in their speed to the wings, their power on the front, and as the lights start to really bounce around the arena, we meet China and it really does feel like they're at home this evening. Feels like we're in Shanghai or Beijing for this one. China led by Lan King. Part of the team that won the World Championship in 82 and 90. Well, Italy, the setter, Melino. Christina Cricciello will start in the middle with Anna Danese. There is Melino Cricciella. Danese, number 11, but their team will need to be consistent alongside Di Janeiro this evening if they want to repeat the success of round one. Ugonu, number 18. A lot rests on the shoulders of what was the top scorer of this competition this morning and probably will be this evening as well. De Janeiro, number six, the best to some in the world. Davide Mazzanti, young, smart, and efficient as a coach. This one close to getting underway. Mazzanti has said they haven't got much Olympic experience. China is richer in that, but the target for Italy within this competition was to gain experience, and they have certainly done that. The focus, as Andy said, would be on how they start this evening. And their youth was not an advantage or a problem for them. Jenny Langping knows that she has to respect Italy. They're in good condition, she said. They're learning and evolving. But they have to respect Italy this morning. Uh, sorry, this afternoon. Sia gets us underway. And it's a nervous start for Miriam Sia. Missed the last game. A service target. Just talking internally before setting up again. And nerves could be key here for the Italians. China still have lots of that team from Rio around. Ugonu gets to work. And having noticed Paola Ugonu throughout this competition, she is young, but she is unbelievably focused. It's a good start from China. The middle in, the pass is perfect. Pichiella chasing off the hands of Sia, who hasn't found her rhythm yet. Could really be a target. Was the target throughout the early stages of the opening game in round one, but now this is a different game, a different setting where pressure will rear its ugly head again. Passing exceptional from China. It's a great read though. Cricciella sees it. She's not watching the ball. She is watching the spiker. She drifts across and gets a great stop on the angle. In training yesterday, it was interesting to see Italy Confidence flowing here with Ugonu. 19 years old, and this is the biggest game of her career. What a start. Hand contact not quite as strong. Ugonu just almost lazily raises a left arm to defend and a fierce right hand to attack. Wang Manjai 
the libero celebrates and then gets the thumbs up from Zhu Ting because Zhu Ting knows that she does not put that away without the defensive attributes of El Ibero. This is going to be entertaining for sure. See out of system. Goni now rolls high. She stopped again. See, it goes to the sideline. If you're watching, anything tight to the net, throw it to the sideline, keep it away from the centre. Sia serving. So really light serve to position one. Igonu. They're trying to attack over the setter's head. There is a slight mismatch, but Igonu makes great defense out of the system. But Zhu Ting just hits off the body. She's too high through there. They're trying to get three in the block here, Italy, to try and cut off all the channels. But she will go over Bazzetti. Bazzetti got a hat trick of blocks in this fixture earlier on in the competition, but there's no way she's getting her hands on that from Zoo. Another miss serve, keeps Italy in control. I haven't kept a tally of the miss serves, but watching training from China yesterday, they served for the first 15 minutes of the session. And let me tell you, they were not soft serving. Italy went for a lighter approach, ball control, pipe attacking. So let's see if they use that on the slide though. Great middle work from them. Sure the ball, but one on one on the outside. Danesi is having to keep an eye on Zhu Ting on the pipe. That's why she's late getting to the outside. Pazzetti the target. Lucy Pazzetti, who had problematic time passing throughout the last two games, will gain so much confidence with her doing it all herself. Smooth in the pass, slow but fast and dynamic in the approach. To the outside. Good blocking. And Ugonu is just an absolute weapon. Seems splits in the block. Open invitation for Ugonu to put Italy in charge. 8 5, first technical. Any sign of nerves? No way. Some other thoughts going into this. Italy plays so fast. Bazzanti is working his magic. Since the VNL, they've taken 0.3 of a second off of the attack. So they're attacking 0.3 of a second faster than they were of the VNL. And they're strong. And in that first game between these two teams, China's middle couldn't keep up. De Janeiro just sitting, patient, absorbing. Ogoni looking to score again. She's had such a good start. Su Ting trying to muscle the ball away from the body, wrist away, missing the sideline. Challenge from Jenny Nanking. The matchup here for China isn't favorable. Because of the speed that Italy can play. That touch, maybe off the left arm of Bazzetti is what they're looking for, but no way.
Milinov, who alongside Pazzetti and Di Gennaro control this team and they let the physical weapons fire around them. The slide attack is once again kryptonite for Italy. It's a late run, really late run. Great disguise. Running on the quick attack, pulling Pazzetti in, and then Pazzetti just watches. Maybe has to pay for a ticket to, to view that. It's a great run from China. Pazzetti setting out. Covered. Feels like China at home at times. See you wiping the line, sorry, covering the line, taking the wipe. Di Gennaro just staying still and covering. Ugoni looking to tip away. The set's slightly too tight, but there's a chance on the outside. Di Gennaro just steps in and absorbs another one. And Ugoni goes high. Persistence paying dividends here for Italy. Su Ting defending very high. We saw some unbelievable scenes in the match between these last time. Rossetti has had, I would say, two quiet games for her in the last two. But today she has come out fired up. I must think for some of these players, the more experienced ones, Di now, 31, Pazzetti, 29, you would think this is their chance to win a World Championships. Body, Chang Ning, Di Gennaro and Bazzetti are really working hard. And it's fast from Di Gennaro again. And this is where Italy really prosper. Even when the ball's off the net, they play fast to the outside. So they can just hit through the drifting blockers. This is where the matchup is key. It didn't work against Japan because the middle, middles of Japan are so much faster, but here they can cause trouble. China, the best team in the world. Wider set. Danese Ugonu. They're in a different postcode there. Perfect from Miriam Sia. China go to the middle. And then Italy push back with exactly the same play. Drifting around, Yan Ni can't get her hands in front of it. She's too late, far too late for the Nazi. Serving to one, trying to keep the ball away from Zuti. Keep an eye on that throughout this game. They're serving to wherever Zhu Ting is far enough away. But that's a phenomenal set, Ding Sia. Take a bow, ripping it from outside of court to find the middle on that tempo. Did you know stepping in, playing quick to see you. Italy really missed Miriam Sia against Serbia because Petrini is great, but Petrini is 18 years old. Sia gives them more points at four, for sure. Su Ting, the service target this time, trying to get her out of system, out of sync, but Su Ting is the queen of this game. So high. Cricciella staying. Managing to close out with Malinov, but Malinov leaves a small gap. Oh, yeah. 
Molina trying to find Christina Trichiella under audacious pressure. It's really the Hollywood set from here. And it's too tight. Su Ting will eat you for breakfast if you set tight. Trichiella left with no, well, no option but to try and use the block. See, perfect passing. They're trying to serve her. DIY, wrist away, working off the body. Pizzetti on the wider pipe, Pugonu on the inside, Tan trying to open up the court. She had two on her. She knows the situation. She worked away from the body. Some game this. As Ding Thea just opens up everything. Great width, it's good passing from China. It makes you wonder how they're four behind. See her yet again, she's getting everything. Ugonu! The pass is fine from C. It's not perfect, but it gives Meline off the chance to run an offense at a tempo. Richiella staying fast in front, and somehow Ugonu squeezed it through. They knew it was coming, China, but Ugonu too hot to trot early on. Service pressure, very deep again. It's tied to Ding Si. They go back on the slide attack. They'll be looking forward to when the setter can get on the back court because she can have three options. Sloppy from Celia, punished by China. Soon as she hits anywhere away from her body line, favorite to score there. See her passing well. You can see what they're trying to do, China. And you can see how much it means to Miriam Sia. Bassetti will get the plaudits here, but Miriam Sia has contributed to that one-on-one. -on -one. The ball goes to two and a half. The ball's pinged, darts to the outside to Bassetti. She's one-on-one. -on -one. She will score. Wide, fast sets, opening up the gaps. Italy's speed. Dominating again. Canby comes in. Front court receiver out, but Zhu Ting is in. Di Ganero just digging away. She just sits off the outside of the block and she stays relaxed and still for Zhu Ting. And they buy their time through the rally. Bazzetti. Di Ganero. Miriam Sia are leading the path here. China psychologically not in this game at the moment. Back to the front court receiver. They're doing it all the time because then Ding Sia is left with absolutely nothing. And Italy take another one for as long as they can make Shang Chang Ning out of system. As a front court receiver with a front court setter, Ding Sia hasn't got any options. Italy flourishing. There you go. Off she goes. Shang Ning replaced by, it's a great replacement, the Ying Ying. The left hander about to spike the ball. It's too tight. Far too tight. 
Agoni. Do not even give her a sniff. She just knows it's tight. She just grabs the ball. But the Ying Ying, the best outside hitter in Chinese volleyball last year, just 17 years old, top scorer and best outside. Frantic all the time from China. Li Ying Ying struggling. Agoni has got the better of her. Now Bazzetti, so still, she doesn't want to block. She tried that earlier. She sits off to take that one chance for China. Bazzetti's defense, really good. Two days of rest would have done Italy the world of good. Legionario trying to force it in from the left side. Bazzetti having to roll angle, but the defense is a little bit out. But things here again. Under pressure, can find the middle from anywhere. The touch is a little bit tense, the ball pings off the arms. But that's where China are very strong through the middle. A bit slow getting out at times, but attacking wise, very high. Pazzetti passing perfectly. Venezi! Steep and gnarly. You're not digging that one, China. Yan Ni drifting out to the line. Venezi snapping back angle. 80 kilometers an hour. It's not about that. Once again, out of system. Li Yingying shut down. She has another chance here. Two blocks in a row. Denise comes into this game. Best blocker in the competition. This is why. Gets across. Great finish into the face. Li Yingying wants to work through the body. She's got two in her way. 22-14. Shot? No. Surprise, maybe. Bazzetti. Very fitting. Lucia Bazzetti. More blocking, but this time out. The AC gets across but doesn't get round the ball. do it for the Italians who have just been a different class so far. Celia's passing. Ugonu, it's too tight. So she's looking for hands or trying to work the ball around the block. Denise again, look at her head. She's just always looking at the player. It's tight from China. Second chance for the outside. Celia has been tall. China are just working their way back slowly for them. I think it's about gaining confidence for the rest of this match. Bazzetti replaced. Sorry, Bazzetti is still on my mistake. Let's try to fire up an ace with Li Ying Ying. One out from Bazzetti. For the first time, you would say, in this set, the 
Montenero beaten to the left side, but Italy will be feeling a little bit more pressure. Starts with the serve here for China. They could win 11 matches at a single world championships for the first time. 2014, they won 10 of 13. Perfect again from C. And Malinov goes tight, but actually it works out to see it goes over the top. It's the speed that's costing. China here, they're not fast enough to deal with Molino. Macy serving for the first set. Meng Jay puts it in really well. Fired from Ding Sia, who's laughing. You always say, if you're going to fire the middle from off the net, make sure the ball's going over if you miss. One saved. Bazzetti puts Italy in system, and now Italy have rocked China and have them against the ropes after this first set. Consistency from Bazzetti and the aggression from the middles and Ugoni. What a start from the Italians, the Olympic gold medalists. Well, struggling. They passed so nicely. They really have. And it just means Malinov has got every option available most of the time. If she wants to run Ugonu on the inside pipe, Vazetti on the, uh, sorry, on the inside 10 from the back right. If she wants to run Vazetti from five and a half from the back court, she can do whatever she likes because the ball is perfect. Great start from Italy, slow from China. What a start from Italy, really. China, they're slow to get going. Many people's favorites to maybe win this game. More attacks from Italy. The blocks are the same, but the service pressure, which means as well in turn the passing from Italy. More errors from China as well, which will cost them. There's a long way to go though, really. China are such a decorated side. They have experience. Let's have a look at the service placement. Between position five and six, working the front court receiver. China really working. Miriam Sear on that left side when she's on the front court, but it looks as if they've both got similar tactics. It's not really the serving, letting China down as such. Maybe they need to get tougher with their serves. They were so, so strong yesterday in training. Having watched that whole training session, they were attacking from the baseline. Remember, they've got Lang Ping in charge. One of the most respected people in Chinese sporting history. Six in 
among the top Chinese athletes of the year. 1996 FIVB Coach of the Year. China, well, they've set up the same as they finished. So Li Yingying has come in. Italy, well, there's no changes from them and absolutely no surprises because they've started really well. Passes a little bit off the net. It goes to Zhu Ting, who's been quiet. That's an understatement. See ya. Spatches out the back. Italy's service pressure, but it's the speed that's caused them problems, and they can run their game when they're in system. Remember against Japan, if anybody was watching, the ball was off the net more. De Janeiro, they're being aggressive. There's potentially a handover. It certainly is. This will be a much better view. You cannot block the centre. Zhu Ting has started feasting far too early there. When Italy have not played well, it's because Bezzetti and Di Janeiro have not passed perfectly. And when they're passing off the net, they play slower. Ugonu fires high, almost like a tomahawk defense out the back. Shaping up, good defense from Melinov. See your love hitting out of system. They're still and they're patient when they cover. What a rally this one is, both teams. Two teams. There we go, China. Two teams. Makes a kill from the left side, but the defense from China leads them to glory. Can see a serving. Question marks throughout this competition on the opposite from China as well. Ugonu fires through Zhu Ting, and this is not the Zhu Ting that we know who control it, well, controls games on a regular basis. Sorry, it wasn't even through her, sorry, to Zhu Ting. Difficult from the commentary position at times to see where the ball goes through, but Agonu! Is that just a sign that it's going to be Italy's evening? Just fires into the top of the net. There's no passing that. You have to feel for China there, you really do. They will feel justice has been done though. This is China who know how to win games. Even when everything's against them. Remember, they won the Olympics in Rio, having come fourth in the pool. Smuggling away is Criciella. The pass from Italy is just the trigger of everything. Malinov is having a great game, but it's because of Bassetti, Di Janeiro, and Sia passing dimes, smuggling to the line, Criciella. Well read again. Another opportunity, Agonu! So it's my bad. Things here never stops smiling. Zhu Ting as focused as they come for China. Bazzetti slightly out of system now, but they love going higher. Tricciella. How many times is she going to score out here? Back through the blockers, and it's because of Melina setting so accurate and precise, it gives options to the setter to hit one way or another. What a treat.
serving short to Guidonero, who then puts the ball in perfectly. It's a great block, but that's almost what they set up for China. Makes it easy to block when the ball's coming in from short. Tough for the opposite, uh, sorry, the middle. To get their approach to Li Yin Yin, 18 years of age and making such a difference. Another game changer against the USA, came on and took the game away from them. Stays high, stays deep. There's no digging that one. And you have to feel for the USA. They didn't get through Paul H. They lost both three, two, but back to this one. When Italy don't quite play at 100%, China just go through the roof. Back to two. The blocker has done a great job getting out there. The middle blocker, Young Sing Yu. The pass is still strong though from Italy all of the time. Ukwonu fires the line. Fires it steep. Horrible work from Ukwonu, who yet again is proving herself on the world stage. Difficult to see from where I am based. In or out, China are going crazy. The people in front of me are just standing up left, right and centre, making it difficult to see. China have been silent. Once again, it just feels that China has some home advantage here. This is big news in China. The media are here in many. Drifting in the block, but they get a touch on it, Italy. Chance to counter audacious attempt to try and chop it back. Just a one point game. This is so much better, though, from China. No one any closer to predicting the future of this competition. On form, you would have potentially have tipped China, but Italy was so good round one or round two and the bits of round three that the two day rest looks like it served them wonderfully well here. But who knows? Oh, it's an ace from China. A difference has been made for sure. Since the youngster Li Yunying has come in, she serves from high. She snaps fast with her serve. Not two in a row, no, just one. Patient as ever, Lang Ping, a real respected coach in the game. De Janeiro, easy for her. Ugonu stays high, smooth and accurate. Once again, it's proof that it's not about bouncing the ball, going over the middle blocker. There's Ding Sia blocking in the middle, keeping Sin Yu 
on the outside, trying to block Sia, but it means they're short in the middle. But not on the wings. Bazzetti on the floor. That quick ball again, shaped back to the cross court, losing Danesi. And that's a key thing to do today. Danesi has been phenomenal. All competition within the block. Moving her around is key. Di Gennaro passing off. But see it. Oh, China! Zhu Ting made a dig. Thought her team were going to set back to her, so she went. She's got a scoop. She gets up, she's ready to go. Everyone else just looks at each other. No one wants to set it. Better passing from China. Back to Zhu Ting. Chases on for Malinov, but Zhu Ting. And what makes Zhu Ting Zhu Ting is just how she uses. She can see the court, but she hits off the body. She opens up so nice, so her elbow comes back, her chest opens up, and she works through the body really nicely. Really good work from Zhu Ting. Tension building as China grow. See you now, vulnerable in the pass at times. Di Gennaro, that's not working anymore. Playing quick, China's middles are getting faster. Where they were slow in the first set, the middle blockers are starting to release earlier. Get across and get two in the block. No splits, no seams, just kill blocks. Straight down the line, Miriam Sia passing off the net. Yet again, Di Gennaro goes quick, but unfortunately it's too quick, so it has to be lifted. Chance through the pipe, Lee Ying Ying, well done, Wang Men Jay. Zhu Ting, hey, let's have a game of standing shot. Zhu Ting, you don't even have to jump. Just a little pop. So high, down ball from Italy, they're made to pay for not blocking Zhu Ting, even if she's not jumping. Zhu Ting is a threat at 198. <laughs> Ting starting to dominate again. And that means Italy have to push back. It's better from Sia Ugoni does push back. Long arms that just casually stay loose and cannon through the ball. Good feet, great angles. Really great angles. Interesting. Really quite interesting when Zhu Ting is starting to prosper. That's Ugonu's serve starts to go. See, it makes great shape with the shoulders. Ugonu does find the line this time. See, it ends up out of the picture but she just focuses on the pass. It's good enough to keep Ugonu in the game. That's a great swing. But shoulders round the ball, almost drops the right shoulder there, see ya, to get the angle on the pass round. Pesetti! Not the biggest, but she's like a jack in the box. Jumps up, presses late, forces back into the angle. Swing blocking from Pazzetti. Italy are back in this set.
Fijanera just takes a step. Pazetti now has to tip, but she tips at the setter, so they're out of system. There's a chance in transition. Whoa! China. It's huge from Yan Ni, and she just lets the eyes linger under the net to Agonu. They know she loves to chop back. They're waiting for her. Maricciali comes in for Sia just for passing duties. It's a great pass. Welcome to the game, Maricciali. Yin Yin Doug from Di Janeiro, who's had a wonderful game again this evening. And we're not even, well, maybe even a fifth of the way through. Agoni this time goes to the line and challenges the outside hand of the block. She goes chasing after it, Lili Li Ying Ying, doesn't she? This time China out of system. What? an angle. Lee has just used her foot speed. Zhu Ting does well to even get her arms on that, but the speed of the feet to get to the right-hand side of the ball, to get the ball into the hitting window, on point. No one said that this game would be uneventful. And if you did, you are wrong. The semi-final of the FIVB World Championship. Games do not come much bigger than this. Janeiro putting the ball on point once again. Ugonu. And when I watch Ugonu, you can just see she opens up the whole court. She can go to the line. She loves to chop it back sharp. There aren't too many in the world. Slow chase is definitely one from the Netherlands. Boscovich is phenomenal as a left-hander playing that side. But she's one of a few Ugonu. What a reply. Sing Yu dances off. Denise yet again is watching for Zhu Ting. And she has to. Pound for pound, Zhu Ting is rated as the best player in the world. But it gives the freedom for Ding Sia to work the ball reverse and run the game as she would like. Pierciali out of system. Di Gennaro puts it into a good spot. Danese covers. She's going to have to cover again. Agona has just sent that into orbit. Someone's going to go and get that. First time blocked out. Di Gennaro, she's underneath the ball. Risk goes underneath it. Still traveling. Okay, so we are not only the Cannes. We are. Come on, come
Donu is the threat here. And throughout the opening stages, she's had it all her own way, but at 19 years old, pressure can creep up very quickly. She has to just forget about that one. Error Pia Charlie lead, Miriam Sia comes in. Trying to bring a little bit of energy here. Intensity is communication and body language together. Pass from Meng Jay is perfect. They're so good on the slide. China running the reverse beat. So well. They really are. The middles are high. The Janeiro is balanced and waiting. Just wait now. They're probably going to look to go to the pipe in just a moment and bring the middle back into the game. See ya. That's almost like a little bit of a roundhouse. Just a rotation of the shoulder and a high snap. Look how much work the arms are doing at the bottom of the jump to propel herself up. The lean off with recoveries and things see. This is a different game in the second set. They're passing stronger, but the variation of the slide attack causing issues for Italy. One goes wider, one stays shorter. Danesi is such a good blocker, as is Cricciella. They have to run the ball around, and they have to use varied attacks to get through them. See you off the net now. Italy are really swimming against the tide. Di Gennaro covering strongly. Fast to the stick, maybe good enough to win. No! Zhu Ting rolling high, Bazzetti doing a good job as well. See you. And the dynamic that Miriam Sia gives this team is impressive because it takes pressure off of Igoni. Against Serbia, Igoni had all the pressure because they were struggling to score on the outsides. Bazzetti just plays the perfect understudy to those two. Looking for a touch now. Ball goes to the outside. Of a challenge. It's a game of the highest importance. Ying, Ying. 
is behaving like she's in a library. Very impressive from her. Quiet as a mouse. Back to business, 1820. This could just swing it either way. De Janeiro reads the game nicely. She just sits inside. See ya. And just like the previous game, where the Serbian, Mihailovic, took the pressure off of Boscovic, Sia is doing exactly the same here. She really is. Mihailovic was so good in that previous game against the Netherlands. See ya. Disrupting China. Agonu fires up the cylinder again. The chance for China. It's a great side out from Xi Ting, who shows a bit of suave and a little bit of joy with that. They know where she's going. Bazzetti is sat there waiting for it like a bus. Doesn't mean she's going to catch it. Back to see uh, the passing slightly laying it down, but Cricciella on the slide. Bazzetti free ball. This is a big chance. Only to be taken by China. Yan Ni tries to hit the overpass. Cricciella on the dive. But then when it comes to the blocking, this is where they've improved China. Gong Sing Yu. The opposite doing a wonderful job. It's going to be tough now for Italy. See him goes back to the line. She scores this time. The way that De Janeiro sets out of system. World class. Slow touches. Fast pace. but also watching that is Miriam Sia. Ugonu, they're coming back again, Italy. They're playing consistently, that's for sure. Ugonu! China are going to have to put their crash helmets on here. Ugonu is starting to go again, silencing the crowd. Opens up the court, hits line and chops so well. Su Ting! Anything you can do, everybody, I can do it better. Both because this time on a slightly more reverse pipe, trying to drag the block around, open up gaps off the body. Su Ting world class. We have seen so much. Gu Mingyun coming in. And what an entrance! That's exactly what you need from your service substitution in a World Championship semi final. Moving from left to right away from Miriam Sia. No one wants to get their platform on it. First set point. Two aces. Surely not! What a service substitution! Ku Minyan comes in with two blasts from the baseline to really bully Italy and go 1 1. What a fun game! China blocking and serving better. They seem 
revitalised after a slow start. Miriam Sia hasn't quite passed as well as the first set, but so many highlights to take forward. Okay, we go to three, and we're one, one, in a game that nobody can really call, surely. More attacks from Italy, the blocking from China, the middles, the way that they've managed to get out to the outsides and help. Yes, Melinov probably isn't running the same amount of plays through the middle as she was in the first set. The service pressure has increased as well. When that lady talks, you listen. So, everyone in this arena, including myself, needing a rest here. Italy, Melino, Pozzetti, Danesi, Ugonu, Sia, Cicciella starting. Sia the target again, and we're really going to see from Miriam Sia how she can stay relaxed and focused on her pass throughout this stage. Di Janeiro bumping to the middle. We saw this in training yesterday. It worked slightly better than that, though. Di Janeiro again, this time quick to the outside. Su Ting! But Miriam Sia stays calm and calculated at the net. Di Janeiro setting faster than almost any other team in this competition, even with their setter setting the ball. Passing from China, and this has been the difference. They've passed so much better into position three. Then the middle can just release. And Denise, Tricciella, look, they're just, Tricciella that time, not getting high, not getting square off to the net, drifting, losing their height. China are really doing well here. And in the block. Yanni. This will all be about her vision. Melinov trying to use the middle, but it's been spotted by Yang Ni. It's always going to be difficult for Cricciella to bring the ball back to one when she's facing so far towards position five. Great read with an ace as well. Young. Yu makes one drop. Pazetti. Shoulders cannot get underneath it. See a passing over. Zhu Ting. You do not need to ask Zhu twice to put this away. Christmas has come early. Early on. 
in this third. The service pressure for China is really strong. The ball is starting to fizz around a lot more, but at high speeds where it's dropping all the time, Vazetti is world class with service reception, as is Di Gennaro, and Sia is very strong as well. But all of them. Struggling with this service reception. See, you're putting it perfectly in, Ogonu. And if you were looking at this swing right here, in the men's game, you would say Wallace is exactly the same. What an angle. There's not many people that can hit the ball that steep from that height in the world. Second set, struggling with rhythm of her serve. Being clear, serving straight down the line. Difficult for Italy. Of course, it's a line block because they're serving the front court receiver. And then Ugonu from the inside, 10. Such a threat. We have to talk about this because Cricciella is running on the slide. So there's only two front court options, but when you've got Ugonu going through the center like that, it's going to hold the middle blocker again and hopefully take the pressure off of Bazzetti for Italy. The passing yet again perfect. And Zhu Ting will have a field day when China are passing this well. So good. Ding Sia is playing really well as well. Cucciella, both teams playing such a high level. And that was the review from everyone after Sapporo, sorry was that the game between these two teams, they're siding out for fun. Remember, last time that Italy won this competition, 2002, they beat China 3-1. But the last World Championships, well, China have only won one head-to-head -head out of the last five between these two teams. And that one game was the World Championship semi-final four years ago, 3-1. Paintbrush through the middle, but it's the purpose. It doesn't have to be technically perfect to score. Yan Ni splits the blockers, the wider set looking to penetrate that gap right there. Malinov is in this match too. Di Gennaro stepping in, setting darts to the outside. Bazzetti out of system, might just struggle a little bit more than Sia. Malinov goes back to Bazzetti. And you see this from the smaller players. Japan do it a lot too. The first time they just recycle the ball, they do something smart with it, and then they build through the rally because they just create pressure the first time of asking. Perfect again, they're faultless. Italy need to push the service pressure. China are delightful at the moment with the way that they're seeing it. But that's, if you study the two serves, that from Molino compared to what some of the Chinese players are throwing out from the baseline isn't as tough, it really isn't.
knows? What's going to happen in the next 10 minutes, let alone for the duration of this game? And Bonu is firing, but you would potentially suggest that Ding Sia, when she's on the front court, is coping better than Molina when she's got two spikers with her. The way that she's working the middle is really good. Pazzetti from the right side seems to hang in the air for hours on end. Pazzetti reads that well. China doing the same thing as they've done quite a lot. Ugonu feasting off the top. Maybe there's been a change from Mazzanti just shifting Pazzetti further round when the setter is on the front court from China. Wang Meng Jae is phenomenal, but that's a little bit out of her grasp. Twice. They have made a change. They're making more digs with Pazzetti sweeping around more of an angle. High and tight, they have to work the block. Neck touch from Lee Ying Ying. Problem solving, paying off. Timeouts from China. What we haven't seen as much of as the first set is Italy trying to get three in the block. Both teams serving the front court receiver at large proportion of time. And then looking to take the line away from them. It's difficult when you bring the front court receiver inside for them to chase out and hit sharp angles. So you can almost let them have that if they hit it because it's very difficult. Volleyball game of speed, distance and time. Again, back to the outside, Lee Ying Ying, Di Janeiro, they're out of system. You'd expect Italy to score again, here's sharpness. But they're so patient. Gong Sing Yu. And Lee Ying Ying. Out the back. It's really high. Both times for Lee Ying Ying. And there's a left-hander playing on that left side. It's far easier to play a flat set, but you can choose to take early or late on the wider pipe of Zhu Ting. Bazzetti is perfectly positioned. And Sia can counter with a big, big, crushing right jab straight to the face of China. Sia stays high, works around the block, opens up nicely. But Bazzetti has made a wonderful read when the ball's gone to Zhu Ting there. This time wide. And where China were really flowing, which was on the slide attack, snapping back a couple of different angles through the block, sharp. Italy have really made a few changes that stopped that from China. No surprises that Chen Chang Lei has come in played so well in the previous game against the Netherlands. Pizzetti. Feels like she should have got that one. Six's job is to sit in between the gaps in the block. The blockers really want to seal those gaps because you don't want to re rely on your defense, really. Italy can because they play great defense, but Six's job is to just sit in the middle. Key moments. And remember, this is the second game of the day. There's a rotation fault. You have to stay in your order, China. It looks as if Yang Sing Yu is the problem. 
maybe the backcourt setter. Difficult to tell at game speed, but that's really simple stuff now that's disrupting China. Danese flipping it out to Igoni. Bouncing around, but a double touch against Igoni. But they might challenge this, Italy, because it's come... Well, it's definitely not a block touch, is it? So it is a double touch. She didn't know much about it. When China are on top, their serve is unreceivable. But as soon as they're feeling the pressure, they really lose consistency. Ugonu hasn't got her jump serve going all night long. It's lucky for Byzanti in Italy that other areas are flourishing, really. Ugonu has been a threat, spiking though and blocking. But see it. Has really been the attacking threat this evening. Off the net from Bazzetti. See you finds a way through again. Whatever you throw in her way, she will just punch right through it. Fired up. Italy lead at the technical timeout by five. Di Gennaro setting great speeds to still get splits in the block. Remember, look at that. It ball hardly goes out of the picture. It's flat, and they know the purpose of the play. Attack the splits in the block. Bizanti has worked so hard on running this offense quicker. It didn't help against Japan because their middle blockers are so quick. Su Ting busting shapes. It works here because China are slower than Japan in the center. Their middle blockers are not as quick getting out. Reverse. You can see it comes on to play at position one. Zhu Ting, three in on Zhu Ting. They want to cut off all of her angles because they know how well she hits off the body. They go back to Zhu, she goes to the line. Really good from Zhu Ting. The first player, the Chinese player to be the leading scorer in the FIVB World Club Championships and also the first Chinese MVP of that competition 2017. She's the youngest player to have been transferred out of China but it's Ugonu. They will challenge this you would think. Ugonu versus Xu Ting battle. Intriguing. Hawkeye, this is a big one. In by a whisker. A good challenge. Robust and smooth, powerful swing from Ugoni. Trichiella, fast passing. No, 
it's a big point, and that challenge has cost China maybe some concentration. Danese and Trichiella throwing again. Big hugs all round. They're so young, the middle two, but so mature. Front court receiver said yet again from the right side. Fumbling from the lean off. It was a good swing from Gong Xinyu. Facing out towards the back left of the court. She really would have had to have turned and fired the ball with her left hand. Oh, here we go. Super sub from the second set. Jumps in to serve a few more whips. Bazzetti has a good serve out of system Italy. Back to the line, Ugonu. It's really good from Hu Mingyun. The substitution, Ugonu playing a bit of defense now. Molina from the front court goes back to Ugonu. What a dig that is. It won't stay in. But the reaction from Ding Zier is really strong. Ugonu going through the ball. Her body weight is her power. Her arm is just really her steering wheel. The quicker the arm, the faster the contact. <laughs> Zhu Ting, the target. Really good from Ding Sia. The further that ball travels, the less chance you have of getting dropped through the middle, looking for a touch. If they're a touch, they're short. The referee has given it as well. Challenge from the ever calm, ever green Lincoln. It's another big challenge, isn't it? Let's be honest. Hawkeye now well established in this game. It saves so many arguments. It gives us the facts. But right now, China have their backs up against the wall. No touch. No arguments from Paola Rogoni. Lincoln throwing a few tactics out from the sideline, trying to give everything she can. Bazzetti passing perfectly. It's a great play. When the ball is served to one, trying to get the ball into position three is everything. It doesn't quite get there, but it's good enough for Molino to have every option open. If you can pass the ball a little bit more to three, it opens up every play, it opens up the net completely. Molina from the back court. Difficult to block a left-hander on that side, for sure. Agoni at times has been told off. She's got really long arms, Agoni, so it makes it difficult for her in the blocking to make the correct shape at times. Out of system, good serving from China. It goes up again. Can you stop that? Can you actually? Do you get three in the block? But it's Ding Sia, so you potentially would rather have her playing defense. They're sitting around trying to defend the sharp one. But do you need to get three in the block there? Suit in. This is a game of just a silly high level. It really is. Su Ting off the body through the gap. She goes both ways through and off the body. A lot of mileage left in this game. See ya. Almost with a spatch. You think spatch is when it comes out of the hand a little bit funky, but. She knows what she's doing there. She's one on one. She's slightly having to lean in the air. So she takes pace off the ball because she's so high. She's 
you can just plant it. Well, coach, the Olympic silver with the US at Beijing 2008, gold at Rio with China 2016. Her daughter actually went to Stanford University. She was the first ever female to win gold as a player and a coach. So people like herself and Karch Karai are just legends of the game, really. Karch Karai, the first ever player to win gold. And Beach and indoor, see ya. You just cannot ignore her. But the speed is everything from Italy. Look at the pace. She's not hitting from her highest point, but they're not playing a game to do that. And then from the baseline, it's taken a while for Ugonu to fire up with her serve. But when she does, China, they're struggling. Agoni serving to go 2-1, it's another race! Two in a row from the powerful and feared Paola Agoni. And just as China were growing, Italy have upped their game again. 93, almost 94 kilometers an hour. But in the scene, they can't react fast enough. Gonu is firing up. The ball is into better areas from Italy. Malinov can run all of her plays again. And when they can run the ball quick, it's too quick for the middles from China. It really is. They ran away with that one. That was quick and impressive. instructions for the main threats but not the only threats they threaten all the way around Italy the Zeti Malinov and De Janeiro give this Italian team balance. They really do. The control that they bring backed up with the physicality of the middle, see you in Gunny, that when it works, it works so strongly. And he 
Ngannou is just an absolute threat. Back to position one, keeping the ball away from Zhu Ting in this rotation. Di Janeiro. So many teams do not dig that off the body. Swing from Zhu Ting. And not only does Di Janeiro dig that from Zhu Ting, Ogonu somehow caught underneath it, trying to take the angle away. She's so high, she just snaps one straight back. Impressive. It really is impressive. Back to position one because Zhu Ting's at four. Slide attack effective again. Good service pressure. And good defense to back it up. Chance in transition. Zhu Ting, Ugonu has her number. She really does at the moment, outperforming. Zhu Ting Malinov is just covering the tip. She does a good job of it. Ugonu maybe doesn't have Zhu Ting's number for very long. It's a monster block. And now there's a bit of pressure on Zhu Ting. Three in the block because they have to. We mentioned it in the previous set. They have to stop Ugonu chopping the ball back so sharply. The only way they can maybe do that is to get another pair of hands at the net. Di Janeiro to the left. That's a weak spot for Italy. Falling backwards, no stability. No angle. Passing high off the net, chance for Ugonu. It's good defense. They do get a dig on her. See ya. Stops. Yun Sing Yu. This is some rally. Zhu Ting firing high and sharp. Ugonu out this time. Just to give you some perspective, every time China win a point. Everyone's on their feet. Sets run well inside for Molino. Trying to get three in the block again to change the. His key. Gonu faltering at times. The defense from China really, really strong. Yun Ting Yu. The starters. Gong. Number six. Playing really well back there. Di Janeiro fixing that platform to the left side. And look at the difference it makes. Just passing in system. Gives options, gives better court vision for the spiker. Sia will go over the top. Good passing. Zhu Ting out of system. She's in well too early. Her body weight going back way after she tipped that ball. And Igonu will just play with ease. Italy will play with ease as soon as you give them a ball with no pressure on it. They can pass into good areas. Everything's easy. Great timeout early on from Mazanti. It's really put the brakes on China. Puzzled hit. Nancy not in the team to play defense, but would expect herself to do slightly better than that. Step to the right, her weight's going the wrong way. challenge 
requested on this one. Interesting time because Italy really do dig deep. In or out, out as expected. But you have to give full on admiration to Italy and the way that they've played this game. And what feels like China's house. Passing great. Good job, Shang Changning. Popping the ball into good zones. Passing key for both teams. Cucciella trying to block one there because that's how China have rolled throughout this game in that rotation. Running wider, hitting through the gaps. Ugonu just makes it look so easy. Really does. Inside 10, and she's always going to go back there because the block is drifting out to try and get on her. It's a great, great option to cut back and avoid the block. See ya making the odds small mistake. This replay of four years ago is giving us everything we ever wanted. See you now passing to three. The game is open. They're just sitting around nicely as Zhu Ting. Chang Chang Ning with the spike. Ugonu firing through, but it's great vision and it's a good watch from the Chinese blockers. Two in a row, but Cricciella is always drifting off the right foot and her arm coming through to the left side. But it means that the natural angle, if she gets blocked, is back out of court. The blocker has to work so hard to not only get out Chang Ning there, but also press back in. Trichiella serving really strong, taking the front court receiver out, then making a great pancake defense. It's a great watch. All options available, and then they go through their hands. First technical timeouts. China still in charge, just. of the Chinese players, as you can see, the scores. Playing for Tianjin, Bohe Bank. Founded in 93, champions of the Chinese League 11 times, including this year. Well, Italy, their league, Navara, Animoco, the two biggest teams. Navara, well, they have Ugonu. Bar Chakli, Celeste Black, Cricciella, Lauren Carlini, Stefana Veljkovic, Serbian middle. Serbians don't make a bad middle. Anoko, well, they have Hill, Eugenero, Sia, Danese, just to name a few. It's going to be a competitive league, that one this year. Agonu, Scott. Zhu Ting proving again that she's not all about scoring. She can defend too, but Italy this time. Power through one. Just loading, just gradually going onto the right foot and absorbing the ball. The tip is sneaky, but it'll do.
great angle, but Malinov stays disciplined. And it's a game of inches. Those small things, Malinov's defense, where so many others would falter, staying still and really keeping her arms well out for a long time. But then it's a get out of jail free cup, wiping off the outside hand of Zhu Ting. Ugonu just lingers her look on Zhu Ting for a while. That's close. Zingping has backed her young players from day one growing through this competition. Competitors. And they're coming back strongly again. Sing you. From at De Janeiro, it's almost easier to pass when the ball's away from the body. So you can fix your arms. When it's right at you, you have no space in between your armpits. It's difficult to create an angle. Better. Ball's to the left. See ya. People will be talking about Ugonu, but without Sia doing this sort of damage, Ugonu is not as effective. Fast plays yet again, drifting blocks off the hands. Easy in theory. Not touch. to score out there and the opposite from China is really potentially a weaker spot in their team they don't have an Ugonu that's so high and serves like that that can make so many blocks chases on that's just incredible from Zhu Ting tracking out waiting patiently it's out of system so the ball's high she has to be patient to still go through, hitting on the way up at the highest points. Out of system, both teams now, maybe some tiredness. But just as Su Ting does, when they're out of system, she gives China an outlet. And then Igonu does the same. Great decision making, the block's a little late. Leak to the left. Two in for Zetti. And out of system. Without Zhu Ting, they have to play high. Two blockers up, penetrating fiercely. For Zetti, with a real quick work of the wrists into the middle of the court. Timeout China. They're up against it again. The next 10 minutes crucial for this game. Italy are playing with a real stern backbone here. Not so much on that rotation, but... In general, every time that China start to prosper, they start to come back. Italy. They just push through again. See ya. Off the net, it's too quick, there's no middle. Bazzetti goes off. The reactions 
fucking see it. I think it is, it's good enough. And China rise again. Problems here. Italy can't lose Di Gennaro. Incredible defense reactions. Ding Sia, that one is all for you. Di Gennaro passing, stays focused really well. Molino. And when you have two front court spikers and you're trying to split the net, the second touch is one way you can hold the middle blocker. But the reactions and the vision, everything strong from Yun Sing Yu. Pressure back on from China. Would we have predicted anything else? No. Pictures tell you the emotional roller coaster that we are on right now. Nobody wants to get off. Back to business. In what we spoke about just a moment ago as a really crucial 10 minutes so far. It's China who have prospered through that time. Ugonu. I mean, how do you stop it? Put your answers on a postcard and send them. They're trying to block the line away by the looks of it because otherwise five would not be sat so high up the court. Serving away from the outsides again. Cricciella takes a big, big blow. I just get her hands in front of her face though. Second opportunity, sharp snapping. China driving again here. Zhu Ting, three on her from Italy as we've seen. Taking the bullet is Cricciella. But really, from gone, you that's a great swing Di Gennaro passing the ball too far to the left Ugonu snaps it back to the right challenge potentially Ugonu hits away so well there the block drifts towards position one because that's where the high percentage swing is well, she actually finds the gap Absolute scoring machine here. Way out of system. And Jay jumps in. Chipping away is Zhu Ting, but out of system, she can't put it away. Close to the net from Di Janeiro. She goes there again, but it's a better set. And it means that Ugonu can really open up on the second ball. The speed from China is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Three balls punished. The middles go with the middles. There's no block for Zhu Ting. She will take full control of this game if you let her Italy. Bazzetti passing well. It's position one again. Trying to keep the ball away from Agoni. That's all they're trying to do. As Agoni's on the front court, an AC2. Open the swings. This is far from over. It looked as if China had this in the back. Just a moment to go, but errors creeping in at crucial times. Lock touch from Denesi, traveling across the net well. Ugoni! And from a four-point lead. This is just turning around. 
Malinov is finding her rhythm in her setting. She just sits it right the way across Ugonu, and she can go wherever she likes. Perfect passing. Di Gennaro reads that like an absolute pamphlet. The play goes to the middle, and as soon as it goes to the middle, Di Gennaro just sits in, makes a read inside the court. Ugonu is unstoppable at this moment in time. And as Zhu Ting was running away with it a moment ago, Ugonu, again, is proving to be one of the best in the world. difference between the top teams at this competition the power on both flanks yes they have a superstar opposite the Nacy superstar middle best blocker in the competition goes to town and this time it's Chinatown on the Olympic gold medalist great closure great finish Good reply. This has everything. Drifting blocks, crafting the way through. The speed, so good. Out of system, they go high. The blockers are doing a good job. Zhu Ting staying very interested here on Ugonu, but she can't get near her. Mazanti. Fist clenching. Di Gennaro back to target. Still steers the ball in. And you just feel if Italy do win this, they're two points up at a key time. We're in the 20s. China, you have to keep an eye on your first touch. It can't get sloppy now. Gone, seeing you. Italy are getting closer to a world championship final. With an ace as well. What a time from the ace. Smiles from Mazzan. China have lost their rhythm in their pass. Danesi serving again. This set has turned around so quickly. Zhu Ting on the inside finds the gap. And if you were to ask me what I thought the difference was here, it's that Italy have Sia on one flank, Igonu on the other. China haven't got that strength on the left and the right side. But there's still a long way to go in this game. See you now off the net, but they can hit their way out of system. It's a really big set that goes out the back. Challenge requested from Italy. Potentially there, the ball goes to position two, when maybe all they had to do, Italy, was give it to Sia. She gets wider in her approach, she can count an angle. This time, no touch. Certainly, the decision. We are back to one. Put your seatbelts on. This emotional roller coaster is about to hit its scariest point. 
Ding Sia serving straight on Pazzetti. It's not a time to lose the pass. Sia! You have no right at this time of a World Championship final to hit those angles. Fast plays, snapping across the body. She opens up so well. It's a thrash. But that's the biggest point of the game so far. Out of system as well. Passing from both teams needs to stabilise. It hasn't. Trying to go high, three in the block. Su Ting. Big game player. Big, big point. Finds a solution. Inside set over the top of Malinov. There's a mismatch just due to the height. Some people in the stadium can't watch. Perfect passing. Di Gennaro and Bazzetti have given stability to Italy this evening. But China just pushed back. This time from the right side. Not from Zhu Ting. Seeing Gu hits an audacious angle. And we are tied at 23 all. Time out Italy as well. Ball travels across her, snaps it back on a sharp angle. Muddy making from China. Who's serving? Big, big occasion. Sia has been bullied from the baseline, but Molino keeps it alive. Got to Fires long. And from a position of glory, Italy are throwing it away. It was all smiles a moment ago. But now China are pushing back. serving. The perfect person under pressure to serve us into a fifth. No, Agonu! 19 years old. But has the maturity of someone so much older, far more experienced. It's Su Ting versus Agonu again. See you with the serve. Pass is so tight, confusion everywhere. Holding on tight, both teams. Sia makes the dig, the ball's still in play. Second chance, then Sia goes to the point. It's a great watch, but it's a miraculous recovery. And the ball outside goes long. Trinciella has made a magnificent block here, but how has that stayed alive? Jay. And to the outside, that's how games are won and lost. You have to take your chances. First match point for Italy. See you again serving. Meng Jay with the pass to the middle. Di Gennaro makes the dig. Running the middle at key times. Really good setting. We're back to 25 all. And the highlight package of this game could be one hour long this evening. The service substitution that came on in the second and stole it for China is back in again. Q with the serve. Di Gennaro putting it into a good spot. Again, high. Is there a football? That's what they're looking for, I think. The point goes to Ikon. She stays high, aggressive, and smooth. Come of age again this evening, Ikonu. 19. Second match point for Italy to qualify for their second ever World Championship final. Zuting passes straight. A chance for the block. 
but she stays high. With three in the block, you don't have many options. But it's a great swing from Li Ying Ying. Keeps China alive. Pushing for their sixth World Championship final. They're running out of chances. But the longer they stay in this game, the more chance they have. See, uh, passes leaking the ball. Gonu getting everything. And that's why. Chance now in transition. It's a free ball. Gonu again. Running out of gas. China have turned this one around. Malino potentially getting two one dimensional. Everybody knows where that ball's going to go. China's blockers, they know. Points. It's turned around again. China to take this to a fifth. See you with good passing. Ogoni this time on the pipe. The back all square. But how many balls in a row has Ogoni been set? They might have to go to the middle in a moment or go to Bassetti. Do something different. But who knows? Serbia are watching on really closely. Great pass from China. And it's a superb angle. Off one foot with the slide. Taking on the middle block of Danese. Drifting blocks. Don't penetrate. Third set point, Li Ying Ying has a great serve on it. Di Janeiro passes safely but nicely. The corner. If you feed her, she will score. No Bazzetti, no Danese. Malinov is just giving it to Ugonu. Bazzetti serving to turn this one around. Back in sister China, back to the pipe. Bassetti with the dig, they have to play it. The ball is out, but what else do you do? It turns out to be a great decision. Off the body goes Su Tin. She hits such a great angle. Inside, pushing the blocker. The ball was out, but Wang Meng Jae had to play it. If she leaves it and the ball goes in, she'll have to live with it forever. We have had some epic matchups in this World Championship, but this is phenomenal. Tipping away is Sia. Opens up the game because Ugonu is now opposite. The defense from China, they are just fighting so hard. Sia trying to go through, pinging around again. Opportunity for Zeddy having to set. They go straight to Ugonu, three in the block, she goes high. Gong Sing Yu with the defense. Su Ting off the net. How many opportunities are both teams gonna have to score and take this set? It's remarkable. Su Ting again, but there's three in the block. It works well. It drops off all the angles. And Miriam Sia puts that point to bed. One on one, you would back her 99% of the time. She looks blind, she shapes angle. Pressure on the passing unit of China. There's not much service pressure here. And you can see the serve is so light. It's so easy for the passing unit to get the ball in. It's a delightful slide play. But sometimes you have to serve to win and not not to lose. You do not wait for another player to make a mistake. Bazzetti on point again. We are deep in overtime. See her with the cannon. This is the chance, China. Su Ting against two. Has the ball bounced? Something it has. But Su Ting gets the chance off the net, but fires long. Challenge. It looks like it. 
this is unbelievable. It's in! It's going to be overturned! We are going to a tiebreak! <laughs> Sorry. Check if the score again. hitting off balance and just clipping the baseline. This is what volleyball is all about right here. It's a game of margins. It's a game of intensity. Italy has to bounce back here because the momentum now is with China. Multiple match points. Well, that's that as we go to a tie break. China, 31, 29. More attacks from Italy, the blocks are the same. The errors from Italy, what cost them? But not one of those stats can explain what we've just seen. Multiple mega rallies at just clutch times. Ogonu clutch. Li Ying Ying clutch as well, but Zhu Ting feeling the heat. Has just squeezed one. By the narrowest of margins, on a challenge to send us to a tiebreaker. <laughs> One of these teams will be fighting for a gold medal at the FIVB World Championships. The teams that they sent in to battle to get them there, Italy, they look like this. Melino, Bassetti, Denesi, Ugonu, Sia, Tricciella, it's the same. De Janeiro. China. Well, Young Sing Yu. A good start here is key for both teams. The defense strong again, but second chance to make it the way. Chang Chang Ying starts on the outside. Ding Sia, the setter. Zhu Ting, no surprise. Yan Ni starts again. Gong seeing you as well. So it's the same six. Both teams' first six is starting. Inside set, put away from Zhu Ting. And they just run a quick inside to just look for the inside hand of the blocker, catch them drifting, not penetrating. Denesi 
is stopped. And it's Italy's turn to be pushed up against the wall. China were there a moment ago. It's a dark place. It's a place you don't want to be. But Italy are there and they need to rise against it. To a good position, zooting on that inside set again, working Ugonu. As soon as you make Ugonu move and you make a step, you have a real opportunity to go off the hands. This time it's actually off Tricciella. It's a good start this from China. They seem very calm and very, very focused. Here, passing off the net, no middle attack. Ugonu is getting fed all the time, and off the net, she's not as effective. It's a bump from Zhu Ting. Chance with a free ball. Sia goes high, scoop to the left. Three in the block with Sia on Zhu Ting. China think they've won the point, but Bazzetti just scoops an arm up. Sia with pace off the ball. Zhu Ting, surely no, they go opposite. Bazzetti just sweeping fast to the outside and that's where Italy are dangerous with pace they have to go back to playing this speed that throws the blockers from China out Incredible. Everybody in the arena absolutely exhausted with watching this game. Everybody's eyes fixed on what's a fascinating encounter of Zhu Ting against Ugonu. China against Italy. Three in the block. It's key because China hit so many different angles. It's a great block. Out of system, it buys time to get three on Zhu Ting. Sia gets a big, big block at a key time. Zhu Ting now being the subject of every serve. Cricciella caught in absolutely no man's land, but there's a double touch against Molina. The referee, Goran Radinsky, gets a stare from Molina. We knew that we were going to be entertained. We have the Olympic champions up against the fastest growing team in the sport at the moment. But no one predicted this. Sia on the fade makes a dip, and that's good enough. It's a game of all the small things of seven people. All the little things that make a big difference, and that from Miriam Sia. Falling to the floor is good enough. Bazzetti swinging high off the block. Tricciella, serving from five, straight down the line. It's a magnificent serve. Three in again! The three in the block from Italy. Putting China under pressure. China's pass is gone. Su Ting gets a massive one to the head. She's doing everything right. She sat underneath the block. She's waiting for it. But she just gets put on the floor. Danesi serving out the back this time. They need to serve stronger in this tie break. So if they serve out the back, it's not the end of the world. It's felt personally by myself that at key times in that final set that we just saw, they didn't serve tough enough under pressure. DJ 
Gennaro out of system, chance for Bezzetti, but she just rolls to one because there's no other option for her. And Sue Ting comes back into the game through the pipe, drifting block of Denise, who's worrying about the slide attack. You can't take your eye off of Sue Ting, but that's credit to the earlier work of China. They've run the slide attack so often that they forgot about Zhu Ting on the pipe. That's great setting from Ding Sia. See a perfect passing, Igoni now. <laughs> Running out of words to describe Igoni. Really, one of the finest battles here. Ugonu versus Zhu Ting. Kambi comes in for Malinov. It's a service substitution that we've seen often. It's a good service, tight. Di Janeiro is really good reacting in there. Danese puts another one on the scoreboard. Great service substitution. Events. Di Janeiro is just sat waiting on the side of the block. Dedication and discipline from Italy's finest libero. Power from one of their finest middles. There's a change of ends. Italy are in front, but it means absolutely nothing. Serves to one, keeping everything away from the outside. Some monstrous clutchy play from Li Ying Ying. They're sure it's out here. We're going to know this before they are. No way. Pressure getting to Italy, disrupting their eyesight. We saw it. They might live to regret that as we go to a really, really pressurized time in this game. Oh, who knows what's coming our way? Who knows? See ya. Almost sends that one into the stands. But Bazzetti! Puts it on a plane for Ugonu, and maybe that's the sign of pressure for Ugonu. She's completely mistimed it, missed the ball completely from a position where she would score seven or eight times from ten. Bazzetti with the set. Ugonu can't afford to go sleeping now. It goes back to her. She doesn't go sleeping. Because like all big players in the world, whenever you start to question them, they come back with a vengeance. Menge on point again. Slide attack for Zetti, swinging to the angle because she's dug so many balls back there. Zhu Ting, high to the line. They know that Italy, but they can't keep throwing chances away. China, they're battling in every respect. Zhu Ting, shut down. It's another mega rally here in Yokohama, and nobody can put the ball on the floor. Maybe exhaustion creeping in. Di Gennaro with the most outrageous dig of the game so far, off to the left-hand side. Deep breaths needed by everyone. But this time, Denesi eventually puts that away. And look at the reactions. That from Di Gennaro. At this stage, to be that alert, Denesi puts it away through the gap. Timeouts for China. Everyone gasping for air here. Whatever happens in this game, it will be remembered 
forever as an absolute classic. out of system, back to Agoni, maybe a poor decision, but it's great blocking from Zhu Ting and China. Mazzetti goes to Agoni, difficult for Agoni to turn and hit and keep height. There's no angles to hit apart from her body line. Zhu Ting parks so nicely, two in a row, time out Italy. Okay, dai, via! The crowd here on the edge of their seats. It just goes one way and then another. This pressure, and when we're in the tens in a tie break set, the difference between winning and losing is potentially your serving. But the passing from China is great, but sat really far in is Melino for the corner who throws again. And this game is operating in two point swings. It really is. The tension is unbearable here. Zhu on the inside. Pazetti makes the read, but Zhu Ting. Great setting from Ding Sia. It's a quick set behind, and it's a great combination to try and drag the middle blocker one way and then bring the ball inside to beat them on the left-hand side. Ding Sia serving, who has a very good little left-hand whip. Sia out of system. They do go back to Miriam Sia. There's a real good opportunity here for China. Who'd they go to? Su Qing, but once again, Trinciella. Ugonu team up, out of system, and make the block. Tricciella, another player, really coming through tonight for Italy. With the ace as well, Ugonu has just fired Italy into pole position at the most important time. Step up your big players. Time out from China. Allora, se va la 7, ci pensa la Cri. Paola Ugoni has just taken Italy from 13-12 to 14-12 with potentially the most potent ace of this game so far. But they've been in this position before. In the previous set, multiple 
match points. They couldn't take it. Is this Italy's time? Ugoni with the serve. She goes out the back. It's a good timeout from China. The pressure on the passing units of Italy is enormous. Bazzetti. Sia receiving the line. Di Gennaro. Cross court. Bazzetti. It's a great pass. Ugoni. They will be looking for a touch. Nothing's been given. We go to overtime again. Sia says there is a touch. Challenge requested. Just when you think this game is not going to give us any more drama, it serves this one up. Was there a touch? Absolutely not. China are on their feet again here in the arena. Agoni with a missed serve and a missed spike, showing signs of inconsistencies at clutch time. The Chinese fans have deja vu. They are insistent. They need this. They go back to a gun. She fires again. It always seems that she's firing when they need to get into match point position. But she needs to fire now for Italy. China have just been an absolute pleasure. And they will have their opportunities again, maybe in this game. Pass is perfect. Back to the outside. Reing it. 18 years old and playing with so much aggression. She keeps China alive. Ugonu goes out the back. Ling Pyung is realizing who she can trust under pressure this evening. It's in an 18 year old. Li Ying Ying, who Mingyun to serve. A great server, and Italy know that. Ugonu, this time off the block, off the hands again. How many times will Ugonu get Italy into this position? But now, do they go to Bazzetti? Because on match point, cannot remember Italy going to Danesi or Pazzetti when they need one. The serve is great, but the pass is sublime. But Sia gets the dip. It's a free ball, chance to set up, but really should be China's point. They go back to the opposite. Igoni with the dig. And they go back to Igoni through the 10. This time, they take it. It's taken so many opportunities. 3-1 in round one. 3-1 in a World Championship semi-final in 2002. Tonight it was closer. It was so, so close. But Italy qualified for their second World Championship ever by the narrowest of margins. 17-15 in the tie break. What a performance. China, the Olympic gold medalists, are out. Or oh, they're playing for bronze. Sorry, my mistake. They're definitely not out, but they are not playing for gold. Everybody needs a rest now.